when I came to this Ogijo, I established my business here by selling various type of things. The challenges we are facing is uh, lack of power supply. Because without power supply, we can't be able to sell the foods in at all. In Sub-Saharan Africa, there are an estimated 600 million people who don't have access to the grid. And that means that about 17% of the, the population lack access to refrigeration. In a country like Nigeria, in the urban settings, it's possible that, that there would be access to electricity. The, the problem is that many times it's unreliable. And for small businesses, for traders who rely on refrigeration for income generation, this causes a big problem. Before I got this Kubok air uh, freezer, my market for those, that mini, mineral seeds is already go down. So at Coolbox, we have big plans to continue to grow our, our footprint in Nigeria, as well as across Sub-Saharan Africa. So what we've realized is that there are many small businesses, individual small business owners, who rely on refrigeration for income generation. I heard about the Cooper from reliable source. I said that, ah, wonderful. I've never seen this type of freezer before. One of my colleagues has introduced this Cooper to me. I said, ah, you just called me one day. Miss, uh, mom with the lights. Did you hear anything about the uh, solar freezer? Coolbox, we are on a mission to make cooling affordable and accessible to everyone that needs it. Harnessing the energy of sun and water, we have created a solar refrigeration solution that gives access to continuous refrigeration for up to four days, even in the absence of electricity and limited sunlight. Our freezer integrates with it some unique features that stand them out from other freezers out there. Number one is the ice thermal storage solution. This stores energy in the form of ice rather than in batteries, and this gives your freezer up to four days of cooling, even in the absence of electricity and limited sunlight. Number two is the thickness of the freezer. Our freezer is twice as thick as other freezers out there and also comes with double gasket to prevent hot air from the environment from entering into it. We have also added four USB ports to give access to energy to our customers and now they are able to charge their phones as well as plug in their LED bulbs for lighting. Since I've been using cool box, the income is big. I have more customers about the fish, the turkey, the cote, titus, etc. Moreover, I use the money to take care of my family. A lot of increase since when I, I, I bought Kubo's visa. I can pay my uh, children's school fees, comfortable. I can do whatever thing that I like. To make our products more affordable, we have integrated with it a pay-as-you-go technology that allows customers to pay in monthly or weekly installments. The way it works is, customers make payments and they get tokens that they are able to punch into the PayGo device to get access to 30 days of cooling up until they are done with their channel of payment. So we have plans to, as well, start to manufacture our products in Nigeria. We're opening an assembly facility that will have the capacity to produce 72,000 units annually. And with that, it will support our, our growing business in Nigeria. We believe that our solution is not meant for Nigeria alone and can also expand into Sub-Saharan Africa. We are open to collaborations and future partnerships that would help us to empower more women. With Coolbox, life can always be cool. The GSMA Innovation Fund supported Coolbox in the procurement, in the importation, the distribution, and the promotion of 140 solar freezers. A big thank you from Coolbox to the GSMA Innovation Fund for believing in us and for supporting us on this impactful project. Mm -hmm.